everybody. Um, sorry I got my glasses on because my eyes are really tired. I didn't sleep well last night so I feel kind of uh, sleepy but it's alright. <laughs> I still have to cook the tea for tonight. So tonight's tea will be beef chow mein. Friend Jude asked me to show him how to cook it so I'm making this video. Right, um, the reason I'm cooking beef chow mein is it, no reason because you can substitute anything like chicken, king prong, roast pork, even duck with um, beef. So it's just when you know how the basic things you can cook others, it's very um, easy. Um, the base is called the plain noodles. Actually, just cook, fry some um, egg noodles with bean sprouts. And then on top of that, we uh, cook some meat on the top, make it tasty. Right, so uh, the main ingredients will be noodles, obviously. And I'm just being lazy. I bought some egg, fresh egg noodles from Tesco. Um, well, you need uh, the noodles kind of in like a bit in. Well, you you need the you need the egg egg noodles and the thick one. Don't don't buy them rice noodles. Rice noodles for Singapore chow mein. I will show you um, some other time. So egg noodles, and if you're using dried noodles, it it's okay. Um, just cook the noodles according to the instruction on the back of the package, and then drain them. And rinse it under the cold water, set aside and uh, ready for use. So, um, yeah, it's easy. Right, okay, let me show you how to cook this um, beef chow mein. Right, we need about two packages of this egg uh, noodles. Uh, one package is 410 grams, so it's 820 grams to four of us. Um, and we also need a 400 gram of top side or ram steak cut into strips and marinate them in half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of in soy sauce and one tablespoon of corn flour and a little bit in chicken powder and marinate them for half an hour and the full spring onions cut into strips 100 gram of a um, bumbu shoots strips as well and the one package one pack one bag of uh, um, bean sprouts you can this is about 350 gram you can use up to 500 gram and fry them with the um, noodles can prevent the noodles stick together right we also need the three quarter a um, pint of uh, and beef stock and another tablespoon or one tablespoon of corn flour we use later on right okay and also you can use some chinese dried mushrooms and, uh, and soak them in warm water for 20 minutes when it's soft and cut them into strips as well it will add a lot of um, flavor in this chicken uh, sorry beef chow mein but I'm not using it because my son he doesn't like him, the taste of the mushroom, so I skip this ingredient. But you can use it, right? Okay, let me show you how to cook this beef chow mein. Heat the uh, oil up in a wok, and we need quite a bit oil here because it's got lots of noodles. I put four tablespoon oil there, and when the oil is heated up, um, vegetable oils we add the um, noodles in. And because this, the noodles I bought is all already cooked, so it it doesn't um, need to cook very long. And if you have a small wok, you should cook a small portion of time because you don't want the noodles all stick together, right? I'm gonna fry this for one. Mind your heat, don't um, turn it too high because uh, you're gonna burn the noodles, right? Okay. Cook the noodles for a minute and then we add the bean sprouts and the cook another minute just mix the bean sprouts and the noodles together properly. Uh, add one teaspoon of 
light soy sauce and a half teaspoon of salt and mix them together properly. And then you just there the noodles done because the noodles are cook, already cooked. So once it's hot, it's done. And then transfer it to a warm dish and keep it warm. All right, okay. This is what called uh, plain noodles if you buy from the takeaways. Then we add two more um, tablespoons of oil and heat it up and fry the beef. Fry the beef about in five minutes until the beef uh, the color all turns into brown. When the beef, uh, the colors are turned, we add the vegetables in boom boom shoots and if you're using a uh, mushrooms, you can add the mushrooms and the spring onions. And then just mix them together, mix them together well uh, about a minute. Mix all the vegetables with the beef chips together, fry them for about one minute. Then we add the beef stock in. And then bring it to boil. Right, um, blend two tablespoons of um, water in one tablespoon of corn flour and add them into the beef. Then stir them constantly until the sauce uh, smooth and thickened. There you can see it's bubbling. But yeah, when the sauce is uh, mm, smooth and thickened, it's done. Then we divided the noodles into four portions and uh, added the beef, cooked the beef on the top of it. And uh, let me show you what it's like. Right, okay. This is our beef chow mein. And this is my family um, recipe, family version. It's different as the one you buy from the takeaways, but it's more healthy and it's very tasty as well. Okay, hope you like. Thank you.